Are you done? Hey, it's past four. Past four? Yes. Oh my god. Um, why are you rushing? I promised my husband I was going to meet him at the shop today. But there is still time. My dear, you'll be waiting for me. Okay. Did you finish your Yes, I did. Okay, let's go. You see this wood? This wood is different from the one we used last week. But it's strong and long lasting. But not of the same quality. Okay, sir. Yeah. My love. Welcome. Oh, hey, I find this how far. I hope you're learning the work very well. <laughs> My baby. You have sawdust all over I'm you. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> Did you not say it before you agreed to marry me? Yes, I did. And even if you ask me again, I will still say yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is it? You reported me at the council meeting of the village women last month. For what? Because your husband kissed you. you know Forget how about those women. You know how they are around here. <laughs> what is wrong with that? Are you not my wife? We can do anything we like. Yeah? Did I kiss them? Kiss who? See, let me not cut your lips on another woman. No? Ah. Well, you know I can't do that now. Eh? Or some. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have you eaten? No. You know what? Let's go to that canteen down the road and eat something. Okay? Okay. Um, let me uh, freshen up and then get ready so that we're going to eat. Okay. Yeah? All right, I'll just wait here. Where are you going to stay now? I'll just show you see anywhere. It's okay. Uh -huh. Where's that Atlantis? Bring the water. I feel the same way too. Mm. <laughs> so, babe, mm. I want to go to the lab tomorrow since it is Saturday. What is happening under now? I've been sleeping too much lately and we afraid things that I might be pregnant. Mm. Are you sure? Well, that is why I have to go to the lab tomorrow and check. <laughs> In that case, I will go with you. Mm -mm. I'll go alone. Why? I don't want you to follow me. I want to go alone. <laughs> I love you so much. Mm. I'm so happy to marry you. So, so happy. Me too. <laughs> Jonas, 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 a carpenter. Dear yeah, Jonas, I wasn't expecting to see you here. I thought you would have upgraded by now. Marcos, how's business? <laughs> well, well, thank God. I was not expecting to see you back in this village after six years. And so when do you return? Oh, <laughs> just yesterday. You know, I came to do a lot of building projects. Remember, my father left me a lot of landed property. So. I need to come and upgrade the village a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that your father left all those things, eh? But it's okay. Um, so how's business? Uh, we thank God. Uh, welcome back. I would have um, asked my boy, my apprentice, to go and get you a drink. But as you can see, I'm going home. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. So where? 
to my house. Ah, is it not too early? What are you going home to do? You know, my wife is the only one at home, so I don't like leaving her alone. So I'm oh, going to, to the house to meet her. Oh, that reminds me. You're not Mary's husband, right? Of course. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> now you got married to the best girl in the village. Just a kiss where I'm alone. That is what it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, we've married for three years now. I'm so, so happy. All right, Jonas. <laughs> uh, I have to go now. Hmm? Okay. See you around. I'm one of <laughs> So how long will you be gone? Just a few days. But then why is this customer wanting you to come to town to make the furniture? It's a big project, my love. And I'll be doing the furniture for the entire house. See, I'll be fast about it. I've hired two extra carpenters that will help me run this project. Believe me. You know what? I'll make big money. I'm going to make big money from this project. And I will use the money to start building on that plot of land I we bought last year. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Remember what we promised ourselves? To raise our children on a beautiful house. So why not start building as we wait for them to come? Oh, Jonas. Hmm? I love you so much. But you know I love you more. Hmm? You always know the right things to say and do to make me happy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're enjoying your food. Of course. Mm -hmm. I enjoy everything about you. Oh, okay. I want to watch you eat. <laughs> Mary! Ah, Marcus! How have you been? I'm fine. When did you return? Two days ago, didn't your husband tell you that we met? Wait, you met my husband? Oh, yeah. he, he didn't tell me. <laughs> it seems he's still afraid that I could take you away from him. <laughs> Marcos, please, you like to joke a lot. You know that is very impossible. <laughs> Jonah, Jonah. His compound is still the same. Doesn't he like to upgrade? <laughs> Marcus, we're about to build a new house with the plot of land you just got by the junction. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> I mean, you deserve better. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I just thought I should stop by to know how you're faring. Six years has been a long time. I know, right? Really nice to see you again. I'm so delighted. <laughs> Mary, still as beautiful as ever. Marcus. I'll see you soon. All right, take care. Are you okay? Please! What 
the matter? I was driving home when I saw the police vehicle chase some thieves and they were coming from this side of the village. So I was afraid something bad must have happened to you. No, nobody came here. So thieves have started visiting this area. Are you home alone? Where's Jonas? He went to work in town. Then in that case, I have to stay here with no, 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 Marcus, Marcus, look, you can't stay here, please. You don't Is it not obvious that you might be in danger? Look, I am in no danger at all, okay? I will lock the doors, please. Okay. Even if you lock the doors, they might break through the window and get in here and hurt you. Marcus, I am fine. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be fine so you can leave, please. Okay? Just leave. I'll be fine, please. Look, I'm doing this for your husband, though. I know he doesn't want anything to happen to you. Marcus, I said I'll be fine. There's no need for this, okay? You cannot stay here, so just leave, Mary. please. Okay? Okay, okay, here's it. Hmm? In case anything happens, call me. I hope you have my number. Marcus. Thank you for your help. Please, you cannot stay. Just leave. You cannot stay. Really sure? I am sure. You can. I thank you for your help. I'm here to protect thank you. Thank you for your help, Marcus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thank you. Did they come to your house at that time of the night? <laughs> this your ex-boyfriend does not seem to have forgotten about you. Really, friend, don't be silly. I mean, we've both moved on. Besides, wait, didn't he get married to that woman he got pregnant? Are they still together? I don't know. I mean, he left for the city shortly after that incident. And this is the first time I'm seeing him in six years. I see. So when is your husband coming home? My dear, I don't know. I called him last night and he was telling me that he would be delayed. Yeah, hey, uh, you two are always inseparable. <laughs> yes, so I miss him so much. Mm -hmm. I got love. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I wasn't expecting to see you here. Me too. Uh, are you coming from the market? How can you let me take you home? Oh no, don't worry. That will not be necessary. You always refuse anything I offer you. Are you still angry with me? Angry? What for? For cheating on you all these years ago. Come on, Marcos. That was six years ago. Why would I still be angry with you? Then hop in. Okay. <laughs> You know, this is actually one of my four cars. This is nice. Yeah, you know, I've always wanted my wife to have at least three cars. I see. So, um, has marriage with Jonas, has it treated you? We are very happy. Uh -huh. I never imagined you would end up with a common carpenter. Marcos, carpentry is not common. It requires a lot of talent and skill. Well, I think business is still better. Take me for instance, I do not have to struggle with bad sawing wood or cutting plants. You know, I just travel from Taiwan to China, you know, buy goods, bring them back here, sell them four times the amount, make huge profit. Is this not cool enough? Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, okay. What about the music? Do you like it? Mm, it's okay, it's cool. Uh, cool. So let me drop you off then. <laughs>
Come in, come in. Oh, oh you're so fine now. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Delicious. Oh. Chef, chef, you're welcome. <laughs> yes, yes, darling. This is a surprise, though. Imagine when was the last time we saw each other? Say, uh, hold on, wait. When was that? At your wedding three years ago. Yeah. Wait, what is it? What happened? Yes, sir. My marriage is over. I don't understand. What do you mean your marriage is over? She beats me. Every chance he gets. What? Girl, I have to run away before he kills me. She beats you. See, see, it's not a topic. I don't want to talk about it. Eh? I just let's forget about that. Eh? How are you? How is your husband? Where is he? <laughs> He's fine. He went on a contract work. Oh, great. Mary, I'm so happy for you. You're very lucky. I'm glad you ended up with Jonas. I did, me too. Oh, oh God. God. Imagine if you have ended up with Marcos. The one you did in secondary school. <laughs> My dear, that reminds me. Just me. Marcos is back. Eh? <laughs> hey, I thought he went to the city without getting implemented. My dear, I was surprised to see him back here. Oh, wow. <laughs> What about the girl? Did you hear anything about her? Like, Are they still together? I did not even ask. I don't know. Hi! Oh, wow. <laughs> if only we know then what we know now. My dear. Eh? <laughs> this life. I swear. Real super story. I tell you! <laughs> I swear. Ah! I'm telling you. Life is real. Is she staying in your house? I don't know. She just left a bad marriage. What of her parents' house? Is she not from this village? Yes, she is, but her parents are late. And her brother lives in their family house with his family, but I don't think they want her around. Hmm. I see. Now, is there something you want to tell me? I don't think I like her. Winifred, <laughs> you didn't tell me that you're this jealous. I've never seen this side of you. <laughs> Anyway, I hope she can start going back to where she's coming from so that we can continue our friendship. It is a crowd. This girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I'm tired. I think it's real. Ready for beating number two. Esther, don't even try me. Watch me. One, two. <laughs> Esther, you're winning. That's not fair. Play, you win this time. <laughs> okay, let me play. Let me play. Play. Let me play. Um, Mary. Yes. Uh, has your husband ever cheated on you? Cheated. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, why would he cheat? I don't know. All men cheat. Girl, not my Jonas. Okay. I am happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, where did you? I don't ah, you cheat. Cheat. Wait. I'm not cheating. Can I ask you for something? Okay. Please. Can I spend the next couple of weeks with you? You don't want to go stay with your brother's family. That's so judgmental. And to be honest, I'm tired. Please. Mary. It's okay, Esther. I understand, okay? It's okay. It's fine. I'm actually sorry for what you're going through. But don't worry. A good man is going to come your way soon. Mm -mm. I don't want to. Uh -uh. I'm single. And I want to stay single for a while. I'm tired of relationships. I'm not doing it again. Come on, Esther. Don't say that. I don't want This is how I feel. And I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm fine like this. Hey, good. I want to continue beating you. Play this game. Okay, okay. Pick the last <laughs> one. <laughs> Thank you so much.
so much. Why didn't you tell me you were coming home today? Because I want to surprise you. Well, I am very surprised and so happy, babe. I bought a lot of things for you. A lot. Really? Yes. Hmm. I hope you did not spend all your money buying me clothes. If it's possible, let me finish it. Are you not my wife? Mm. <laughs> I'm so happy you're back. Ah, Jonas. Good afternoon. What a Welcome. surprise. Um, I am sorry I did not tell you she was here over the phone because I wanted to surprise you. Oh. <laughs> um, Esther, so how are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> how about your family? Um, your husband? Marriage is over. Uh, so well, um, honey, why don't we talk about this later, okay? Let's just go inside so you can just have your bath. It's all right. Okay, let's go inside. Right. Let me help you with your bag. Oh, that's so happy. <laughs> My sweet heart. You should not have bothered yourself. Mm -mm. Why shouldn't I? I love to sweep. See, the dust on the ground gives me this joy. <laughs> hey, good. Poetry. Ah, now that reminds me. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that poem our literature teacher used to force us to recite? It's all the wait, time. wait, wait, wait. J.P. Clark's mm -hmm. Abiku. <laughs> Coming and going this several season. Do stay out of the Baba tree. Oh my God. Those were the four days. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, Jonas, good morning. Yeah, good Did you morning. sleep well? Yeah. Uh, baby, are you ready for school? Yes, my darling. Okay. I'll go with you. I'll walk you down to school. Okay. We'll have a gist. Ah, gist? What gist? Come and tell me. Don't worry. Let's go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll be leaving now, okay? I'll see you at 2 p.m., okay? Oh, no. I'll have a nice day. All right. You too, Jonas. It is my turn to feed you. No, it is my turn to feed you, so you have to eat first. No. No. Mm. Ah, whose mouth is that going to enter? Yes, of course. Yes? Mm. For you to know how much I love you. It's so big that if you don't take time, you will drown it. Mm. You see? Yes. That's, that's how big. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Take it in, please. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, take it in. Come on, come on. love. Baby, it's not fair. I know. Eh? Love is so, not fair. It's so well. Eh, just take. Take oh it in love. Ah, wait, no, wait. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, ah, ah. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Uh-uh. 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 Okay, show me. Uh -huh. No, you show me. <laughs> oh my god.
Hey, dear, what's up? Is the rice ready? Mm -hmm. It's ready. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What is it? Are you crying? Oh, no, it's just the smoke from the gas. It's, it's messing with my eyes. What kind of smoke? Esther, you're crying. What's the problem? Esther. Yes, yes. I'm just requesting my life. Come on. Don't say that now. Besides, you're still very young and beautiful. Oh, please. I was the most beautiful and coffee of all of my friends. So look at me now. Look at me. Everyone has the best at night when I do. Come on, Esther. Come on. You lived your life well. Okay? Ah, oh, Mary. We are blessed. You have the most loving husband. I'm really happy for you. Esther, come on. I know. Listen. Okay, listen to me. Listen. Your case will be good in no time. Okay? Just stop crying. Please. It's okay. You know what? You're right. Just go and finish up for your lessons, okay? I'll Just finish cooking the right? Okay. <laughs> Mommy, still not crying anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not sleeping. Not yet. My phone rang, so I came out to get the call. We need the network here stronger. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So where did you go this afternoon now? I went to see the plot of land my husband bought. And guess what? Work has already started on it. <laughs> yes. Ah, good. And my husband knows me too well. We got just blessing for me. I'm so grateful for this man. Oh, oh. so you won't be living here anymore? No. We are going to be living in one of the finest houses in this village. In fact, I met with the contractor and I told him that I want to have a big sitting room, mm -hmm. a large kitchen, and a big children's play area. <laughs> Esther, like my dreams are finally coming true. I'm so happy. Ah, God. Yeah. <sighs> I'm so oh, happy for you. Thank you. You know, people used to think that I was stupid mm. for leaving Marcos because he cheated on me. Uh -huh. You see, I swallowed all those insults. Yes. You see, very soon, I'll be living in one of the best houses, even living in a better house than many people in the city. So you don't mind them. The only reason they thought Marcos was a better choice for you was because he's a rich boy from a rich family. Only son. That's why. <laughs> well, Jonas has shown everybody that you do not have to be from a rich family to become mm -hmm. rich. Yes. Oh, my yes. God, my God, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... Can I ask you a question? Okay, what do you want to ask me? If, if anything happens between you and Jonas, can you go back to Marcos? Esther, mm -hmm. what kind of question is that? See, everybody knows you cannot forget your first love so easily. What? Stop saying that about my waist. Oh, but I love your waist. You're a foolish boy. Um, don't forget, I am your senior and you are my junior student. Well, nobody can punish me. I am the girlfriend to the head boy. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to Jonah's father's shop. Why? My father wants to make me a new bed. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, 
Marcus, how are you? Where is your father? He's at home. Doing what? Didn't I give him a job of making my bed? Bro, well, he's not feeling too well. And so what? Who is going to make my bed? Marcus, calm down. He said his father is not feeling too well. And how is that my business? Now listen to me. If I don't get my bed done in one week, I will make sure the town council pull down the shop. You guys can't be taking space when other people need space to work. I don't want to come back for this, fools. Why did you shut up Jonas like that? Don't mind those people. Both he and his father are so lazy. You were rude. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What did I do now to offend you? I know you're very rich, but you shouldn't look down on people like that. I wasn't looking down on anybody. Those carpenters are just too, too slow. Well, take it easy with them. I know very soon they will finish your work. <laughs> okay, won't you hug me? What for? For being your boyfriend. Do you always know how to change the topic. <laughs> Yes, I know. And now I have to rush to work. Uh, go, go, go. Do you need to help you do anything else? I have not made food for my husband, so I don't know if you can help uh, me out. It's okay, it's okay. I got you covered. All right, thank you no, so no, much. All right, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Thanks. Take care of yourself. All right. Bye. Have a nice day. Thank you. Food at the center table of eating. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, okay. Have a nice day at work, okay? Take care. Bye. Here. Esther, what are you doing here? Uh, I was on my way to the market and I remember Mary telling me that your shop is somewhere around here. I said I must find it and say hello. Uh, I see. Mm -hmm. So this is where all the creativity comes out from. Well, we thank God. <laughs> you are very hard working you now. No <laughs> grease to your elbow. Thank you. Abe, let me run to the market. Eh? Uh -huh. I'm making rice and stew today. So you're going to love it. Mary always says that my rice and stew is legendary. Uh, you will love it. Uh, 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 you will love uh, uh, ah, let me just go. I'll see you at home. Bye. Bye. My love, I'm really running late. And school will be over in a few days' time. And I am yet to complete my exam report. Don't worry, I can help you out. Stop joking. <laughs> I'm going to tell Esther to make food for you because I'll not be able to do it. Does she have to do that? It's not necessary. You don't want to eat before going to the shop? I'll buy food. Okay, you want me to tell her to forget about cooking? Is something wrong? 
Can I ask you a question? Okay. When is she going home? I thought you said that her brother stays in this village. Yes, he does, but she's having some problems with her family. I know, but... You want her to go? I don't want to spoil your relationship. She can stay, but she shouldn't stay for too long. You and Winifred are the same. I don't know what you have against this poor woman. Or is it because she's divorced? I don't have anything against anybody. Okay. So, listen. Just cheer up, okay? Okay, please? It's okay. All right. Yeah. I'm going to see you in the afternoon. Okay. Okay. All right, come. The time is finally over. Nigeria. Hmm. Yes, so but the head teacher says that the lessons for the primary six peoples will begin tomorrow. And since we are primary six teachers, we have to be available. Please, please, what is our own? Our lives do not revolve around the school. Ah, Madam, take it easy. I'm <laughs> not teaching any lesson this holiday. I want to rest. <laughs> God needs a woman. Anyway, I have to get going because Esther is cooking rice and stew and I cannot wait. Is she wait still at your house? Yes. This woman, you're not afraid though. Afraid of what? Husband snatchers. Please, please, Mr. Bengove, stop all that rubbish stuff. Listen, I have known Esther since we were children. She's like a sister to me. It is those that are closest to us that do the things we never expect. Madam, please, I beg, I beg. If you just stop with all that negative talk, I beg. Sorry, yo. Uh -huh. What is it with the head teacher wanting one of the teachers to sleep over at the town for the common entrance exams? You know, I heard about that too. I don't know. <laughs> she should not just come near you because I will just fall sick. See this one. Yeah. Lazy, lazy girl. I think my name is go. Today was quite a Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Marcus. Hi, good afternoon, Marcus. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Okay, um, what are you doing here? Are you waiting for someone? Oh, yeah, I'm waiting for you. Me? No, well, I heard you teach here now, so I came to see you. Okay, why? I have to start going. All I'll right. See you tomorrow. Okay, we need bye. Later. Can I drop you home? Marcus, I'm going to my husband's shop. Oh, well, um, I actually came to see you because I need something from you. Okay. I need a teacher. A teacher? We both know that I didn't finish a higher institution after my secondary school. I went straight into my father's business. Okay, Marcus, I don't know how you want me to help you, but as you can see, I only teach primary school pupils. Oh, <laughs> does that even matter? I mean, everyone knows how brilliant you are in school. I was only made head boy because my father was the richest man in the village. Okay, so what do you want? You want me to be your lesson teacher? Listen, Marcus, look, I am too busy right now. You would have to ask someone else, okay? I really have to get going. Excuse me. Bye. to coach him? No. 
Do whatever you want to do, not as if I want to stop you. My love, how can you say that? No, I don't want you to feel that I stopped you from making extra money. Is that what you think? That you're the reason I'm not going to accept to be his lesson teacher? Is that what I said? But I don't want you to think that way now. Okay, honestly, yeah, I support you. No problem. You can go ahead and do it. I support you. Oh? Uh -huh. What are you doing, Marco? Hi, baby. Don't baby me, please. Why are your friends beating up the campus that's gone? Oh, don't worry yourself about me. Are you okay? Why are you touching him? Why are you so wicked? What has he done to you? Oh, his father is not done working on my bed. And so what, Marcos? I love him, but you're so childish. Is that why you beat him up? Let's go, let's go. Baby, I know you've not forgotten everything Marcos did to you in the past. <laughs> it all happened a long time ago. <sighs> don't know why he came to see me at the school. And then he even came to the house when you traveled. And I was really surprised that he's back. And I don't know. Marcos came to our house. Yes, he did. That's how I knew he was back. He seemed not to have gotten over you. But, you know, it's over between us. I married you, remember? I don't know why I feel so uneasy now that Marcos is back. Something tells me that he wants you. He got me. Come on, that's not true. <laughs> I know. But I trust you. I know you can't be that stupid. Uh -uh. Don't you know your wife again? Don't you know? <laughs> that reminds me. You said something about your head teacher. Choosing you to accompany the pupils to the town. I don't know why I was chosen. It is not enough that I had to teach lessons during holidays and now I have to follow the children for their exams. Oh, I'm tired of it. How come you're the only one going? Are you the only teacher in the school? <clears throat> when are you going? In a few days' time. It's okay. Eat more biscuit. Why are you saying like that like I'm a baby? Eat more biscuits. Are you not a baby? Mm -hmm. eh? Eat more biscuits. <laughs> so that you get ready to give me babies. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> you are always so <laughs> funny. But it's true now. <laughs> <sighs> My love. Yes, dear. Please promise me that you'll be back tomorrow. Of course I will. Hmm? Mm hmm Ah, are you leaving? Yes, but I'll be back tomorrow. Ah, oh, okay. Good luck, huh? Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, let me see it till you're back, huh? Oh, I have the best husband. And I have the best wife. <laughs> I've certainly seen you already.
Very stupid. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. Why are you doing this now? Are you crazy? Are you, are you mad? Are you crazy? Get out of my room this minute. What are you doing here? I'm very sorry, please. Don't ask me. I'm house. very sorry. This is what This is what you do. But don't tell me what I tried to do. Please, I beg you, please. 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 Okay, now listen. Okay. I will not tell my wife anything. But you know what? I want you to leave my house. Do uh, I have anywhere else to go? No, no, no. I, I don't care. It's none of my business. I don't care. So I want you to leave my house this minute. Leave my house. I don't care. Okay, no problem. I will go. No problem. I need food for you. Maybe said I should make something for you to eat. I will go. Please, I'm so sorry. Please. 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 you finish with this uh, customer eh? please go and pack all this wood inside and you close the shop okay. eh? I'm tired I don't know how my body is doing I'm not really feeling okay eh? Oga, are you alright I'll be fine but I'm not that strong eh? please eh? attend to them and then pack all this thing inside eh? let me go home thank you okay yeah Mary, 
Winifred. Don't tell me you're just coming back from the town. Hmm. My dear, yes, so. At this time of the night, I promised my husband that I'll be back today, so I'm just trying to keep that promise. Yeah. <laughs> Our air teacher is such a slave driver. How did she make you sleep over at the town? My dear, I was wondering the exact same thing. I mean, the exam started at 10 a.m. I would have still gotten there on time if I left here by 8 a.m. Now what for them? Oh? My dear, look, I am tired. Let me just go home right now. In fact, I'm even happy that Esther is at home. She has cooked something. May God bless her for me. Oh, amen, Lou. I came to buy something. Oh. So I have to rush back home. Oh, okay. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. Bye. 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 Take care, okay? Good night. What is wrong? Nothing. Why are your things packed? Are you leaving? Yeah, I have to leave. I've stayed for too long. It's time to go home. So soon? Are you going to your brother's house? Mm hmm Hey, honey. Uh, Mary. Yeah. You've been sleeping for a while now. I thought you were sick. I came back yesterday. I was very, very tired. Okay. Hmm. I came home last night. I, I saw you in the afternoon. Honey, stop joking. You like to joke a lot. I came home last night, not yesterday in the afternoon. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for your hospitality. Mary? Jonas? new subjects. Yes, I have. What about you? Well, I finished mine today. Uh -huh. I came to ask you what Esther is still doing in the village. I thought you said she left the village for good. Esther? Where yes. did you see her? During break. I'm so sure she was the one I saw near the canteen on the road. Hmm. Well, I hope to see her again before she leaves. I have to go back to my class. See you later. All right, later, okay? <laughs> Yes. I'm not expecting to see you. Oh, are you looking for Mary? No, 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 no. I came, I came to see you. Me? Yes.
What is this? It's a pregnancy test. I'm pregnant. You are pregnant. Ah. Ah. Congratulations, sir. Eh? <laughs> Congrats. Ah. Why are you giving it to me now? Eh? Because the baby is yours. What? Yes, it's your child. I can't remember having anything with you. Uh, th th that's what you think. But the other day when you came back from the shop, the same day Mary came back, we slept together. Me and you? Yes. What do you mean we had sex together? I can't remember sleeping with you. See, you came home that day. You saw me and you called me Mary. No. Next thing I knew, you were all over me. No, it's not possible. I wouldn't have done anything like that. Ah, then why did I leave the village? <laughs> you left because you want to seduce me and I refused. Now you're bringing up these stupid stories. Yes, oh yes, I tried to seduce you, but you shunned me. And I apologized. But you cannot deny that we made love. I have a pregnancy to show for it. That's a lie. You lied. I would have told Mario, but I chose to come to you instead. You must be very stupid. For you to open your mouth to say that you want to tell my wife? Are you crazy? If you, if you say nonsense to my wife, you see what I'll do to you. You must be mad. Do I make myself clear? I can't take care of this child alone. I have gone through a lot in this life to raise a child by myself. It's not happening. Shut up. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are a disaster. You are a homewrecker. Me? Homewrecker? Yes. See, I understand that I was attracted to you. But who wouldn't be? You know how to take care of a woman. But see, when you pushed me away, I left. You came back to me. You came for me. You are a liar. Huh. You are a liar. You lied. Where were you when I asked you to leave my house? At the time I asked you to leave my house, where were you? Now, get out of my office. Get out of my of, 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 of my shop. I don't come here to tell me the office. Come get out of my shop. Get out of my shop. Come get out of my shop. Look at this shit, dog. Get out. Get out of my shop. 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 Get out of my Idiots. Come on, get back. Come on, get back. Get, get, get back. Oh, please, I'm tired. Stop. Why? Is something on your mind? Nothing. Okay. Did Esther come here today? No, but Winifred saw her around. Something is going on with her, Esther. I kind of feel sorry for her. Why? You know she's all alone and her parents are dead. And her only sibling does not care about her. Can you just do me a favor? Okay. Please, promise me you won't talk to Esther any way you see her. Why? Just promise me that. She doesn't seem to be in her right senses. Jonas, how can you say that about Esther? She stayed with us for a while. Just promise me that you won't talk to her any way you see her. Okay, okay, fine. I mean, I've not seen her anyway. When I see her, I will know what to do.
Mary. Marcos. Wait, you're still in this village. I haven't seen you in a while now. So how are you? I'm fine, and you? Ah, uh, well, I'm fine. I'm still where you left me. Pretty much uneducated. <laughs> <laughs> Marcos, you are such a joker. <laughs> so where are you going? I'm heading home. Would you um, like to come with me to see a plot of my land? A land? Like, why? Uh, well, it was meant to be a surprise, but now that you've asked, I want to build a world-class primary school in this village. <laughs> a primary school? Yeah. Wow. And guess what? I want you to be the head teacher. As a matter of fact, I'm naming after you. It's going to be called Mary's International Primary School. Marcos, you don't have to do that. But why? Listen, look. I am happy that you want to build a school here, but you don't have to name it after me. Really? Look, Marcos, I have to go now, okay? I need to get home. Excuse me. Apprentice, well done. Yes, ma. Yes. Is your organ not around? Oh no, he went out, ma. Ah, he went out to where? I don't know, ma. I don't know. He doesn't just leave the shop anyhow now. Anyway, I'll be heading home now, okay? So when he comes back, tell him that I came to look for him. No problem, ma. Alright. Okay, take it easy, eh? Thank you. Okay. No, it can't be. I can't remember making love to you. I can't remember sleeping with you. So how did I get pregnant? I've not had any sexual intercourse with anybody but you. No, you, not me, not me, <laughs> not me. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We, we, you, you are who? You are who? Now listen, listen to me, listen to me. I have no business with, with, with that, that. Say it! Oh, do not say it! Oh, you don't have anything to do with your child. You are a dead boy, I swear to you. You don't have anything to do with your child. You are a dead boy. Esther. Why are you in my house? And what child are you people talking about? Just, just leave me. Please, 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 I can explain. Just leave me alone. Please, I, I can explain, I can explain. Explain what? That you were sleeping with my friend? No, no, she tried seducing me, but I, I, I refused. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me that Esther was throwing herself at you? Why are you lying? No, I'm telling the truth. Why didn't you the one throwing yourself at you? No, no, it's not possible. Listen, listen, Jonas, listen. Don't look for me. Do you hear me? Do not look for me. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> I 
tell you? Any friend, I thought that she was a good friend. I thought that my husband could be trusted. Man, <gasps> I even thought differently of Jonas. To think that he got Esther pregnant. Please, please, don't even remind me. I just, I just want to close my eyes and wake up and realize that this was nothing but a dream. <gasps> I'm sorry that this happened to you. What am I going to do? When you my marriage is over. Can you say that? How can I say that? How do you expect me to take a man that cheated on me and even got my friend pregnant? How? When you friend, how? Uh, Winifred. Good afternoon. How's everything? Fine, thank you. Uh, where's Mary? She didn't come to school today. Oh, why? She's not feeling too well. Oh my God, what's wrong with her? Uh, where is she? Is she at her place? Uh, she, she, she's not there. She's at my house. Well, why, is she, why is she at your place? Why, why is she not home? I'm not, I'm not in the best position to tell you anything. Oh, well then in that case, get into the car. We we'll, we'll have to go to her place. I need to see her now. Okay. Sure. Well, how come no one even called? Why did you come? I heard you were sick. I couldn't stay without coming to visit you. Thank you. And where's Jonas? He's at his shop. Why is he not here with you? Come on, Marcus. Can you stop with the questions? I'm not in the mood. Oh, I understand. What if I say you've not been eating all day? Let's all go to a restaurant. That's over wonderful. Look, you guys can go, okay? I'll just stay here and sleep. No, you have to come with us. Marcos is right. You have to eat something. Come on, let's go. You can be like this. Okay, fine. <laughs> your problem what did you do to her Janice it's none of your business allow me to talk to my wife oh she doesn't want to be with you anymore who are you and if you don't leave here now I'll beat you up you poor son of a poor carpenter you're mad you're stupid come on get out of my face my friend oh maybe you've forgotten how we used to play back in the days Jonas that was then not now if you do anything stupid here I will use chisel to come out your eyes uh -huh. let me tell you Come on, get out of my face, you jump. Jonas, I'll you get jump. the boys. I'm warning you. I'll get the boys to throw you out. She doesn't want to see you. Look at you. She doesn't want to see you. Stay away from someone's oh, wife. Someone's wife. My foot. Stay away from someone's wife. Stay away from someone's wife. You should be ashamed of yourself. Paul Look Richard, you. old jump. Stay away from people's wife. Mary. What does he even think it is? Mary. Look at you. Yeah. You jumps. Come and challenge me now. You're not even ashamed of yourself. Get out of people's sweat. I'm not leaving this house. I'm not leaving this house. I'm not leaving this house. Get out of my house. They're leaving me. They're going to get out of my house. Okay. Go on. They're going to stop me. You must leave this house. You must leave this house. Okay. You think that you're going to love me? Come on, please. Never. You talk to yourself. Who is you? 
How did you find yourself in my house in the first place? Okay. Who are you? You are not coming inside this house. You're joking. Leave this place this minute. You are the mother of my own child. I'm not willing you be are registered in this house. You lied. You lied. You lied. Hey. You will not stay here. You will not stay here. Okay. You will not stay here. Okay. Now. Mm -hmm. I will sort you out. Okay. Baby. Hey. You take this process, I get out of my house. What is this going to do for me? Get out of my house! Will you take me to my pregnancy? Will it? Now let me eh? tell you. Let me tell you. Joker. I will not allow anybody to enter this house. The only person that will enter this house is Mary. But for you, you will not take this house. Try and see. Are you not fucking? Okay. Okay. Hey! 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 I will smash your head, Okay. I will smash your head. Smash Come on, get up. Ah! You're not getting what's wrong with you! Hey! Hey! This Marcos guy is so generous. Look at all the provisions he brought for us. I must confess he's handsome too. I don't mind dating him. Winifred, you can do whatever you want, please. Stop now, let me cut off. Winifred, please, I'm not in the mood. You know him already now. Uh -huh. That reminds me. Your husband has taken over my gate. I don't remember asking for a gate, man. Please, just, just tell him to leave. But wait, though. Do you think there's a truth to what Esther is saying? Because you have known your husband for a long time and you both are very transparent with each other. The more reason why I am so heartbroken about this, Winifred. What if she's lying? What if she's telling the truth? Have you tried talking to her? Talk to her for what, Winifred? I mean, she had an affair with my husband that led to pregnancy. How do you think that makes me feel? How? And I've been, I've been trying to get pregnant for three years now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bringing you. I'm so With this matter and I've come to the conclusion there is nothing you can do about it this lady said she's pregnant for you and you have to believe her I don't know I've never had anything with her are you sure yes I'm sure I can only remember coming back that afternoon very very tired and uh, was actually coming to see my wife. I, I thought that was that was. I can't remember any other thing. That was what happened. Then who got her pregnant? I don't know. That's kind of. If your father were to be alive today and here, this same thing I'm saying is the exact same thing your father would say. This lady is carrying our flesh and our blood. And there is no other place you would have this baby other than in your house. Huh? <laughs> Thank you very much, Uncle. Thank you. At this point, I think you need to inform your people that will be paying them a visit very soon. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Jonas, this is what it has come to. I have to leave now, please. You have to make preparations now. Please have a good day. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right, sir. Let's take it. All right, sir. Oh, no, 
Ala wa bebi ona toy. Aza wa bebi wa bebi yo. Ala wa bebi wa bebi yo. Ala wa bebi ona toy. Nugu ala wa bebi ona toy. Ala wa bebi. Do you know she really has no shame? She's been living in your house for the past six months. Please, let's just change the topic, please. How can someone enter another person's house just to steal? Stop this it, is the really devil. Stop, stop, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Marcus is coming. <laughs> I told you that we should wait for him in the school. You didn't listen. I don't want him picking us up every time. Please, I won't. Hello, ladies. Hello, Marcus. <laughs> Hello, Mary. Good afternoon. Come on in. Let me take you guys home. Marcus, to be honest, I don't want you coming here every day. But why? Because I don't want you to. Oh, look, Mary, you know we've known each other before we knew anyone else. How could you say that to me? Marcus, that was a long time ago. Uh, you want to deny the chemistry between us now? Hey, <laughs> God. What kind of chemistry or physics are you talking about? <laughs> Mary, still as funny as ever. Look, I know you're sad because of that man, but it's been six months already. You need to forget about him. Of what use is he to you? He doesn't mean well for you. And who says I'm thinking of him? Oh, you mean you're not? No. <sighs> and that's good then. Look, Mary, I want to take care of you. Can we just go back to the way we used to be, you and I? Marcus, what is the meaning of that? Marry me, Mary. Marry me and I will make you the happiest woman on earth. You deserve better. Mary? What? <laughs> what did you tell him? I said no. Okay. Okay. Winifred, look. I know that you really like him. I'm sorry, okay? It's okay. My own man will come. But is he serious of wanting to marry you? You know we have history together, but I don't have feelings for him anymore. I would only be lying to myself. Do you still love him? Just as a friend. Your heart is still with your husband. But he's with another woman. Please, Winifred, just, just change the topic. If you ask me, go with Marcus. He's handsome, rich, and he's ready to take care of you. If you have once loved him, you can still love him again. Winifred. Yes. Mary. Ah. Where's your girl? He's not around, ma. 
Anyways, I bought food for him. He, he didn't eat this morning. So I brought him food there. Eh? Just. Madam. 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 Hello. Oga. That's not fit for your shop, bro. Madam. Oga. Find someone that will always help you out. Thank you. Um, Jonas. What is it? Really, thank you for everything. Doctor. I'm saying that this is a high risk pregnancy. And in cases like yours, both the lives of the mother and child are endangered. What? What do you mean endangered? Take it easy. What I'm saying is that both you and your baby could lose your lives under the present circumstance. Get out of this place. Mary. Get out! Please, 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 Ah, no choice, please. What are you even talking about? Who are you owing? Why are you giving me more money? I haven't even paid you the one I borrowed for my brother's surgery. I know. I need you to do something for me. I'm back to stay in the village, and since I figured you have nothing doing, there's no need for you to go back to the city. <laughs> no. I came back to see my brother and his family. Nobody even knows I'm back yet. I need you to go to Mary's house and live with her and her husband. Eh? For what? Why? You have to make her husband cheat on her. <coughs> no! Mary is my childhood friend. There's no way I'm going to do that to her. Besides, what excuse do I even have to go live with them? Then in that case, you would have to hand me over the money I paid for your brother's surgery. What, 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 what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? So what's the good news? I tried everything I, I, I could, but he, he didn't fall. What? Do you know what I can do to you? Huh? Look, I put everything in place and I planned everything carefully. 
I can't afford to fail now. The headmistress of a primary school in the village, who happens to be my in-law, has asked Mary to go back to the primary school in the village. You have until she returns to have this mission accomplished. And I will not take failure for an answer. Take this. Put it in his food before he goes to work tomorrow. Tomorrow is environmental, and I'm sure he will not leave for work on time. You have to make him believe that both of you had something together. After that, come back to me. Yes, you must get pregnant at all costs. Okay. Now get going. <laughs> You mean? Yes. Marcos is the father of my child. It was our plan all along. Just in case Jonas was in full for our scheme. What? You mean Marcos did all this? Yes. He's a very wicked man. All he wants is to get you back and I stupidly let him use me. But when I heard the doctor say that I am a baby cooker, God, I'm afraid. I don't want to be punished, please, Mary. I don't want my child to be punished either. Mary. So you are telling me that Marcos planned everything? What about my husband? He's innocent. Jonas is innocent. He didn't do anything. He was just wicked by the drugs and fell asleep. Nothing happened between us. Please. Mary, I only wore your clothes to confuse him. He didn't do anything. He was drugged. Jonas! Jonas! You are wicked! Please, you are the man Marcus! I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Mary! Mary, please! Mary! Uh, I am sorry! Mary is definitely coming back to me. There's no way she will end up with that wretched boy, a poor carpenter. Ew! If you are gonna be on the net, my number one candidate, you saw me that I have you wet. Don't keep me waiting. Yes, you are gonna be on the net, my number one candidate. <laughs> Jonas! 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 Look, I am so sorry about everything. Esther was lying. She told me the truth. It was all planned by Marcus and he used her. What? Marcus did all that? Yes. She said you were drugged that day she claimed you two slept together. I said it. That nothing happened between both of us. But because my memory was so foggy and I couldn't think out anything. I never stopped loving you, Jonas. You mean the world to me. I am so sorry about everything. I am sorry. I'm so sorry. You didn't do anything. You're innocent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry.
That there's nothing else they could do for me. I have to work like this for the rest of my life. Anyways, I came to give you the good news. Marcos has been jailed for attempted murder. That's good. That serves him right. Yes. <laughs> What's about the baby? Ah, she's doing well. She's with my brother's family. Oh, okay. Let me be going. I just came to give you the good news. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 